hello 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 welcome back to divine destiny guide i'm back with another reading for you i hope you're doing well if this is your first time i welcome you i hope this message will resonate with you and you'll become a part of the tribe the family here i'll be glad to have you also please if you don't mind hitting the bell so that way you can know whenever i post a new video also if you are a returning subscriber thank you so very much for your support your love your prayers the comments the likes if you're sharing the shares your you know a lot of you i read the comments i love to read your comments and i am inspired i am encouraged and I too feel blessed to have you in my life. So I thank you for showing up, you know, showing up for yourself. Thank you for supporting me. If you donate to this channel, I thank you financially. I thank you very much. And I just want you to know it is greatly appreciated as well. Thank you. So as I was preparing for this message, what came to me is that we should give the enemy thanks. And some of you may be saying, what? Some of you have already done that. Some of us, some of you need to do that, to tell the enemy thanks. Why? Because for where some of you are right now, for where some of you are going, and again, we're continuously, this is, you know, a growing, we're continuously learning. So it's not over until, you know, this part of on this side of life is, is that chapter is closed. But as long as we're here, we're always learning, always growing. But we should, we need to give our enemies thanks. And I, I was thinking about it and, you know, just like asking God, just talking to myself, like, why, why should we give the enemy thanks? And what came to me is that if it wasn't for the enemy, we wouldn't change. What came to my mind as well is that even for myself, some of the toxic connections or relationships that I've engaged with or people I've dealt with, they helped me to grow they helped me to be a better person. And so this is why even for a lot of those people that we left behind, they may even say, you're not real what you're doing or who you have become. There is no way you could become that person. When for them, the perception or the idea that they have of you because you engage them and remember, if you are in this season right now, you may be with some people, hanging around with some people, not because you don't know better, but sometimes we refuse to do better. Sometimes it is that we don't know our worth. And so we engage with these people. And so because they don't see themselves anywhere, they think it's the same for you. But for a lot of you, a lot of us, we, we entertain people, places, and things that we were not supposed to. We lowered, we dumbed down ourselves to fit in with these people. And again, nobody's better than anybody, but of course we're all on different, again, we can be in the same building, but we are on different floors. That's just how life is. Some people are, are on the first floor. Some is all the way up. 
to the penthouse when it comes to your vibration. That's what I'm talking about. And so for a lot of us, because we want to seem so nice, we welcome everybody, we invite everybody, and then we end up entertaining people who then now begin to look at us and, and, and they, what they see in themselves, they project on us. But spirit wants us to thank our enemies because if, if it wasn't for them, we would not have a story. We would not have a testimony. Think about it. For those of you who have been fired from a job, who didn't get the promotion, you didn't get the raise. Some of you, you, you had to quit that job. But then when you left that job, what happened? For some of you, you ended up with a better position. For some of you, you ended up creating your own business. Think about that relationship where you thought you lost somebody. You, I mean, some of you, you're there right now where your heart is still broken. This person left. You thought that... You know, this was going to be your forever person. You know, you've been always hearing about twin flame and soulmate. And you thought you found the one. Some of you, you had to walk away. And you're questioning yourself. But no, spirit wants you to know that you are the one that got away. See, sometimes these people left because they know that you deserve better. I remember this person saying to me, I really need, I should meet somebody with a pure heart. Because this person saw in themselves that they were, they were not deserving of me. Because they were faking it. So don't be mad when people walk away. Be glad. And for some of you, if you have not seen it yet, if you allow yourself to heal and always look at things from a brighter perspective, instead of going negative all the time, count your blessings. Because you don't know what the divine saved you from. See, some of these people, the divine God had to push them out of our lives because we were so, you know, persistent and I can cure them. I can heal them. I can make them love me. I can make this person honest, even though, you know, you can't, you can't trust them from here to there. You were just too kind too thoughtful, too loving. You were trying to pet a snake. So really, if it wasn't for these people who came into your life, our lives, to create this change, this force, they woke us up. Some of you, you're going through that phase right now. You're purging. You're going through the dark night of the soul because somebody... Some people came into your life. They rocked your world. You thought that, oh my goodness, how can people be so cruel? How can people be so evil? They left you for dead. Some of them, they wanted you dead. They did everything that they could to tear you down, to break you down. That BFF you thought you had. You know, that sistrin that you thought, oh, we, we, you know, we, we've been friends. We have this great connection. That boy, that brethren that you thought you had, who was working, plotting against you all this time. And you had no idea that the divine saved you, protected you, prevented you. You thought that you are having a heartache now. What the divine saved you from, oh my goodness. 
It is only because you are chosen, you are protected, you are royalty. That is why you are here right now. Because the divine stepped in, called a judgment on your situation in your life. You should thank your enemies. Because for those of you who are willing to change, or, are, or you are undergoing this, or you have already done that, by allowing the divine to come in, to change you, you will see that once these, these haters, these backstabbers, these betrayers, these snakes, these fake people, once they left your life, you started to flourish. Because now you're learning to love. If it wasn't for these people, you wouldn't learn to love yourself. Some of you, you're still not there yet. You know, because you're so, you think you can do this. And so you walk out of one connection, whether romantic or platonic, then you go into another cycle. Even with friends or families, you allow these people to continue to use you, abuse you. Because you allow yourself to be a doormat. To be a gas station when people want to fill up, then they call you, then they drain your energy. Then you don't hear from them anymore. Or that side piece, that situationship that you continue to entertain over and over. But for those of you who put an end to those situations, you realize that once you let go off of these dead weights, your life start going up. Your vibrations start to rise. But of course, you had to die to self first. And that's a painful process. I'm talking about the dark night of the soul. You purging, getting rid of toxic people, places, and things. This is like you admitting that, yes, I need to change. Yes, I need to stop allowing myself to be used. Yes, I need to love myself. I need to know my worth. I need to take my power back. You need to be in harmony with yourself. And it's because of this, like some of you who have finally decided to put an end to that love connection. It's not even love because in order for the Bible says, you know, to love your neighbor as you love yourself and you can't trust your neighbor to love you properly because a lot of people pretty much interpret love in a different way so this is why you first have to love yourself you first have to treat yourself good and so when somebody comes in and they can match your energy then you can you know that they know how to love you but when you are already lost then you find somebody who is toxic again you think what they're doing, confusing you, breaking your heart, putting their hands on you, talking down to you, demeaning you, whether you're masculine or feminine. Males, you entertaining toxic females. You know, just because of what? The looks, the body. But at the end of the day, they are lowering, you know, taking away your power. Making you feel like nothing. When spirit has someone greater, someone better for you. So for a lot of you, like I said, when you walk away, when you thank your enemy for the lessons, because the lessons are now going to be your blessings. That was your test. That helped you to build a big and beautiful testimony. That was your pain. From your pain becomes your purpose. 
Some of you, your purpose is now becoming your profit because you're being paid, whether to teach, to preach, to motivate, to encourage people, to write a book. This is what's going to put food on your table. And because of this, the divine is going to prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. Because they're going to see you by yourself working, but you're not really by yourself. Spirit is with you. And you are able to move mountain, mountains. And when you were hanging around this, these people, you could not move a rock. Because now you're in harmony. Wow. You're in harmony with yourself. You're no longer trapped in fear, guys. Self-imprisonment. You are now freeing yourself. Some of you, you need to free yourself. Some of you, you have gone through so many emotional, psychological abuse where people said that who were supposed to love you or said that they love you. They talk down on you, talk trash into your life. So mentally you are stuck because all you hear or heard all your life is negativity. Spirit wants you to free yourself from all this fear. Because this is the truth. This is the truth. Spirit wants us, wants you to come out of temptation. Stop allowing you to be tempted in whatever area of your life. You know your weaknesses. I don't need to make anybody feel guilty. We all sin and fall short of the glory. But at some point in our life, we need to get a hold of whatever it is that is coming between us, getting in harmony with ourselves, harmony with the divine. Yes, this is you coming into an awareness. Who you are, whose you are, aligning yourself with the divine. And all of this come when you release yourself from all this fear false evidence appearing as real the world is not gonna stop because that person left you that job fired you whatever disappointment it is that you uh, you have faced or you're fear, fearing or facing right now think about it what's the worst thing that could happen right now god forbid how would you handle it just think about how would you handle it? And then you will realize that some way, somehow, it will work itself out. One of my biggest fear a couple of years ago was losing my mom. We were best of friends. We still are best friends. And one of the things that helped me to cope is that before she died, I mean, it may sound mean to some people, but this helped me to cope. I said to myself, it's like I picture myself, I saw myself at her funeral. How does it make me feel? How will I feel losing her? And because I was able to journey to that place before, she passed away. It's almost like when, when the time came and she did pass, even though it hurts the memories every day, but just to help to cushion the fall I, I travel, it's like I time, I travel there in advance. And so when it did happen, it helped to cushion me. Because I already went there.
I felt the pain already. So at the funeral, people thought, oh, you're strong. You're able to speak this, that. No, it's like I had to prepare myself mentally. And so for some of you, you need to think, what are you afraid of? What if that person divorce you, leave you, somebody, your loved one dies? What if you lose that job? How would you handle it? Meet yourself in that situation. Not that you're planning for it, but God forbid, what will you do? What will you do? Spiritual union, again, whether you coming into terms with your masculine, your feminine self, being at peace. Guys, this is why I want another reason to thank the enemy. Because if it wasn't for them, people may look at you after you've gone through this healing process, this journey, or while you're going through it, that, oh, you look so peaceful. How could you have gone through so much and you don't look like it? It's because you have been through so much why you value your peace today. You don't have any time for drama anymore. Anybody coming into your life, if they're not coming in vibrating at the same level, you don't want it because you're coming into recognition and reward. And this is why after all the temptation, the, the delays, the denials, the defeat, the betrayal from the enemies, I told you before, when these people leave your life, yes, you're going to get, your test is going to be your testimony. Your pain is going to be your purpose. All of those things that you went through is going to breathe life into you to be your miracles. Your defeat is going to spiral you into your, de your destiny. They wanted you to be defeated, but instead it would be great victory and success. This is like spirit calling judgment on the situation. Wow. Your solar plexus chakra, everything is healing, guys. Prosperity begins. Prosperity begins, but before all of that, you had to go into solitude. And now... Yes, and deception and envy is creeping in more than ever this year. See the number seven, 2023, because a lot of people are going to be blown away by your transformation. They're going to be envious. They're going to want what you have. This year, you're going to come into a lot of prosperity and blessings. But remember, right behind you are people who are going to want to deceive you, be jealous, be envious of your growth. Because I told you, by yourself now, you are a force to reckon with. All because you thank your enemies. All because they threw dirt on you, not knowing that you're a seed. All because you did not lay down and let... When, when they thought that they trampled on you, they left you for dead. You had one breath. Spirit breathed back life into you. Some of you, you prayed, God, if you let me get through this, I'm not going to look back. I'm going to give you my all. I'm going to make sure my life is a purpose. People know about your goodness, what you have done for me. And that's what you have done. So yes, the haters are going to be in the background. Those same people, places, and things you left behind, plus the new ones you're going to meet on your journey. But you're also going to have good people to rejoice in celebration with. Your soul tribe, your family, because you had to make a sacrifice. You were waist deep in toxicity. But you kept your hope alive. You see the rainbow. 
That is hope. You kept praying. You kept trusting. You kept your hands and your head above water. Even when these people tried to work iniquity. You see that? You did not get your hands dirty. You use your hands to class to pray in humility, in patience. And Spirit is saying moving forward, it's going to be positive movement. I'm telling you, thank your enemies, your foundation and achievements. Look at the rainbow. Your family, your family, your stability. Oh, man. You had to go through some emotional loss. You went through some discontentment and some boredom. You suffered a lot in silence, but in patience you planned. Again, number seven, 2023. Patience and planning. A lot of you, you're working on big things behind the scene. You're learning to keep your mouth shut now. Because you know that in the past, you talk too much. You are, you are planning patiently. You're making sure that whatever movement, whatever choices or decisions that you make, all these doors are in front of you, but you're allowing the divine to choose for you. No longer are you just trusting yourself when you meet people. You're making calculated wise decisions now because you've already gone through too much heartache and loss. Thank your enemies, guys, because what is coming in, it's going to be quick, 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 acceleration, accelerated motion, shooting star. Some of you, as soon as you think it, you're going to bring it to pass. No more mental conflict been stuck in your head, your mind. No, you're thanking these people, what they meant for evil. God worked it out for your good. Your strong spiritual strength. This is even better than physical strength. This is better than physical strength because his spirit is carrying all the weight for you. But spiritually, they can't touch you. A thousand shall fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. None shall come near you. You are powerful. Oh man, triumphant. You are, oh, number seven, 2023. This is your year, I'm telling you. Thank your enemies. They try to mess with your base chakra. No, your foundation is intact. Hope. Yes. Hope. One plus seven, eight. Infinity. Yes, your blessings are coming in. Because your hope is no longer in man. It's now in the divine. It's now in God. And because of that, your passion is ignited. There's a fire lit in you, within you. You are unstoppable. You are the light. New beginnings, guys. New beginnings. Partnership and alliances. Yes. Good people. Godly people. Blessed people. You are done with the nonsense. Your heart is healed. Triumphant victory. Triumphant success. This is the truth. This is the truth. Thank your enemies. Stop where you are and thank your enemies. Thank your enemies. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy is deceitful. Only a true friend will, will tell you the truth, even though it may cut deep. But you can always bet your enemies will kiss you knowing you're going down the wrong path. Because they're afraid to be honest with you. Hmm. Material success. Material success. You see this number five change. Everything they meant for your evil, God is working it out for your good. They tried to set traps in front of you for you to fall in. 
but they are the ones falling into the obstacles and the challenges that they left for you. See, universe, when I see the universe, I see God. I see the divine is right behind the situation. They meant you arm, but the divine says no. This is your season for fulfillment of wishes. Love begins, guys. Love begins. These people are left in shackles. Their plans are dismantled, disrupted. Six plus one is seven, 2023. The weapons may form, but they cannot. They will not prosper. You are moving on. You're stepping into the light. You face your shadow side. I'm telling you, now these people are left in conflict and defeat while you are balanced. This is your birthright, your destiny. You followed your intuition, oh my, material harvest. No more waiting game, guys. Thank your enemies. Thank the divine for saving you, I'm telling you. The best is yet to come. You have not lost anything. You have only gained experience. If, if you have not yet subscribed, please, I'm asking you to do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Leave a comment if you felt led to. Until next time, guys. Thank you very much. God bless.